Financial Freedom, East Stoic Pursuit, by Elias Becker. This free audiobook has been provided by this channel, The Audio Bookshelf. Introduction The struggle to attain wealth has been a constant throughout human history. From ancient societies to our present day, money has become a symbol of power, security, and status. People often seek job opportunities, start businesses, and pursue education to acquire wealth. However, this pursuit can lead us to a delicate balance between ambition and personal values, as money can influence emotional, social, and ethical aspects of life. With this in mind, we've gathered some of the most important lessons to help you achieve financial freedom wisely. Chapter 1. Work, Invest, Repeat Work, invest, work more, invest more, and enjoy the process. Understand that money amplifies who you are. Don't lend money to your relatives when starting your business, and don't hire any of your relatives. Don't mix business with blood. Your financial future is determined by your habits, and your habits determine the number of zeros in your account. Your biggest financial regret will be not starting sooner. Chapter 2. The Law of Return Practice the law of return. Help those in need, and when you need help, someone will be there for you. Don't spend what you don't have. Remember, the love of money is the root of all evil. Use money but never let it use you. Aim to live like a poor person, but with a lot of money. Chapter 3. Money and its Illusions Beware of Fridays, they are dangerous for your wallet. What money does for us doesn't compensate for what we do for it. Having money is good because it sets you free. Nobody ever got rich with money. Remember, money should serve you, not rule you. Many people spend the money they earn to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. Chapter 4. Knowledge and Investments An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. If you want to know the value of money, try borrowing it. Always remember, having good moments is also money, so spend your time wisely. Never count your plans, just show the results. How you deal with failure determines how you achieve success. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. Don't spend your money before you have it in your account. If you want money, avoid vices. The two don't go together. Chapter 5. The Power of Money Remember that money only has power when it's in vast quantities. Money itself is of no importance as long as you have plenty of what you truly want to do and what you truly should do. When we do what we should do, money comes to us, doors open for us, we feel useful, and the work we do seems like play. Many people don't take care of their money until they're almost out of it, and others do the same with their time. College doesn't make anyone rich. Work, like money, is just a tool. It will take you wherever you want to go, but it won't replace you as the driver. Chapter 6. Planning for the Future Fool's money is the smart man's heritage. Keep in mind that you can be young without money, but you can't be old without it, so plant while there's time, because one day you'll reap. It's not money that makes a man happy, it's the freedom money brings. We don't become rich with what we earn but with what we don't spend. Whoever loses money loses a lot, whoever loses someone they love loses even more, but the one who loses faith loses everything. Remember. Money doesn't change a person, it merely unmasks them. Chapter 7. The Ethics of Wealth Those who believe that money can do anything are likely to do anything for money. Beware of such people. It's good to have money and the things money can buy, but it's also good to check up once in a while and make sure that you haven't lost the things money can't buy. Buy when everyone is selling and until everyone is buying. Innovation doesn't distinguish a leader from a follower. Before love, before money, before fame, have faith and humility. Chapter 8. The True Value of Wealth If you make money from your God, it will torment you like the devil. Health is always our greatest wealth. Use your money to take care of yourself. Make money silently. Worse than suffering is suffering without money. When money comes, so do the opportunists be alert. There's no easy path to money. You'll sweat, you'll suffer, you'll lose, but you must not give up. Like investing, it should be more than watching paint dry or watching grass grow. Hate credit. Appreciate debit. Desire the unnecessary and obtain the necessary. Chapter 9. Personal Discipline and Wealth 
stay sharp, your belly will hinder your resolve. Don't let success get to your head. Don't let failure affect your heart. Regardless of everything, keep your family together. It's invaluable. Remember, nothing is more expensive than what doesn't cost money. There are men so poor but so poor that they possess nothing but money. If you can count your money, you're not yet rich. The best way to get rid of a fake friend is to lend them money. Take note, money doesn't change you, it changes the people around you. Conclusion N. You'll have everything you want when you understand all these lessons. Insist, persist, but never desist. If many have achieved financial freedom in history, you can too. It might sound cliche, but what's the problem? The important thing is to be free, and by following many of these lessons, ordinary people escaped slavery and had the opportunity to start achieving the things they always wanted. These are lessons you won't easily find elsewhere or hear from a relative. Start liberating yourself now. This free audiobook has been provided by The Audio Bookshelf. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for listening.